Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back with me Nathan. In this video, I want to share a more affordable setup that I've been using as an alternative to Cursor, Cloud, and Augment Code. So if you've been using AI coding assistant like Cursor, you've probably noticed that they have been adjusting their pricings a lot over time. As competition intensifies and model costs keep rising, the company hiked their prices up to make it all more sustainable. For example, Cursor once offered 500 fast requests for their $20 Pro plan, and then the plan changed to unlimited with rate limits before turning to credit-based billing. This means that for $20, you now get $20 worth of compute at the provider's API rates. Based on the median token usage, the Pro plan currently covers first about 225 Sonnet 4 requests. Now, I've been using an alternative setup that I think is a perfect fit for me, it's more affordable, and it works perfectly for my workflow and use cases. This setup is based on open source coding tools and open weight models. To start with, I'm using an open source AI coding tool as an alternative to Cursor. Cursor mainly gives you two big features, an agentic coding assistant and the autocomplete feature. And the tool I'm using to replace those is KiloCode. KiloCode is a fork of RuCode and Klein that also adds their own features such as code base indexing and autocomplete. They also have their own KiloCode API provider which is built on top of OpenRouter but without the 10% markup fees. This means if you use Sonnet, you pay for Sonnet price, and if you use GPT, then you pay for GPT token costs. No hidden charges, super straightforward. They also support all kinds of different models, and they're really fast at adding new ones as they come out. Sometimes, they even partner with model providers to offer free tiers so you can try things out without paying a dime. For example, at the time I'm recording this, Minimax M2 and Grok Code Fast 1 are available for free. Next, I'm using the GLM coding plan for access to GLM 4.6 model, which has been one of my favorite coding models. You can pair it with different tools like Klein and Rook Code, but in this video, I'm just showing how I use it with KiloCode since that's my main workflow. The GLM coding plan pricing is very affordable as they currently have promotional pricing for all plans. For more information, you can check out the link in the description, but basically, you get 50% off for the first term, and that applies whether you choose monthly, quarterly, or yearly. So if you got the monthly light plan, it will cost you $3 for a month, and then $6 for the second month. If you're going for a yearly light plan, you'll pay $36 for the first year, and double that for the second year. So a good approach is start with a $3 plan and try it out for the first month. If it works well for you, then you can upgrade later. It's still way cheaper than Cloud Code or Cursor, both starts at $20 per month and come with pretty strict limits. For my tasks, GLM has been more than enough and that's why I recommend it. Recently, they have also improved their API performance, increasing its speed. GLM now has an average speed of over 140 tokens per second, with 90% of requests exceeding 95 tokens per second. They also added new MCP feature called Web Retrieval that allows the agent to quickly access and translate web page information. Once you've subscribed to the coding plan, just open up VS Code and then go to Extensions and search for Kilo Code and then install the extension. After it's installed, you'll see the Kilo Code panel in your sidebar, so click on it to open the main interface. To use the GLM coding plan, open Kilo Code API Provider Settings and then here, select Create New API Profile so that you can switch back to Kilo Code API anytime. After that, open the API provider and then select ZAI. And then for the entry point, select the international route. After that, get your API key from the GLM platform and then go back to Kilo Code and paste it in. Finally, select the GLM 4.6 model and you should be good to go. Click Save and Done. And now the API provider is ready, you can select it from this menu. Now you can start using it just like other models. There are different modes that you can use in different scenarios. Uh, for example, if you're planning a new feature, select the architect mode. And if you want to troubleshoot some errors, you can go ahead and choose the debug mode. You can also use different models for different tasks. 
I have many killer code videos in my channel, so I will leave a link to them in the description for you. Basically, you can use GLM in combination with killer code features. You can make custom rules and commands, customize the modes, add MCPs into killer code, and GLM will be able to use them to assist you. Next, let's talk about the autocomplete feature. You can go to killer code settings and then go to the autocomplete option here and then enable the pause to complete option here. Under the hood, killer code uses the CodeStraw model, a specialized coding model from Mistral. I have tested this model before and I think it's quite on par with Copilot and Cursor autocomplete models. You can watch the video in my channel if you want to learn more. Also, note that this autocomplete option uses the killer code API provider, so you need to add credits in killer code. You can simply head to killer code and purchase the $10 of credit to start using the autocomplete model. The code stroll model is very affordable, as you can see in my usage here, it costs a few pennies to run. By the way, if you don't need the autocomplete feature, then you don't need to pay killer code at all. Next, if you are someone who loves to use a Gentic terminal coder, then you can also use GLM coding plan with cloud code or open code. If you go to GLM documentation, there is a guide on how to set up GLM with these popular tools. There is the guide for cloud code, open code, droid factory, so just choose the one you currently use, follow the guide, and you're good to go. For example, here I have GLM coding plan set up in cloud code by simply replacing the API provider URL to ZAI. It works really well with cloud code as GLM is already fine-tuned for it, and I think this is the best alternative that I can recommend. It's pretty affordable, really capable, and helps you break free from proprietary models and tools. I'm currently using it myself and can definitely recommend this. Now, note that for the performance, I think that Sonnet is still better for heavy and complex tasks, especially if you don't know how to code and you want AI to build a working prototype for you. But if you know how to code and review changes made by AI, then this setup may suit you better as it's very efficient and effective. I know how to code, so I just need a coding assistant for the boring parts. I build apps step by step instead of trying to one-shot everything. So I don't really need the AI to take care of everything for me. Plus, I just love using open source tools. Kilo Code provides the autocomplete and agentic coding features, and you can use Cloud Code, Open Code, or Factory Droid CLI to get AI agents on the terminal. Also, if you care about privacy, then rest assured as GLM services for international users are based in Singapore. They don't collect any data you provide or generate when using the services, so it's pretty awesome. And now we have come to the end of this video. So, what do you think about GLM as an alternative to Cursor and Cloud Code? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I'll join the conversation and reply as often as I can. Also, if you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I hope you'll learn how to code and use AI tools. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find useful. Don't forget to like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it really helps the channel to grow. With that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye!